guys, welcome to today's video. So today we are gonna do a quick little project together. Um, it'll be super easy, super fast. This is for Scrap Diva Designs um, design team and I'm super excited to be crafting. So fun fact, my son, my second oldest will be getting married uh, in just a few days. Today is, so in about seven days maybe. Um, so that is why I am jumping back into the craft world really slowly because there is lots to do over here. Um, so let's get right to it. I want to start with, I had shared with you guys my top three picks. This is one of them because it's a gift box and you know we're all about the gift boxes over here. And this is, I forget the name of this, the 3D Barn gift box, I believe. Um, it comes with all these pieces, you guys, but it is really easy to put together super easy to put together so i'm going to show you how to put this together i also used um this bow it's a triple star bow this is also from this uh month's release and then i brought out my christmas tag bundle this comes with tags um but i really use this a lot for the bows <laughs> i love the bows in this christmas tag bundle the tag is gorgeous um, so yeah, those are the three that I am featuring today from Scrap Diva Designs. I just wanted to show those to you really quickly. It's going to be a really quick and easy tutorial or kind of more of like a craft with me because I think this is really easy to put together. So we're going to need two of these. These have a little tab all the way around them. The tab that I think goes at the top is this rounded one. I'm really not sure. I, I just feel like that's what's going to work for me. So that's how I did it. I actually adhered my this paper this uh layer piece on upside down so i had to tear it off and put it facing this way so as you can see here this tab right here is rounded and it's larger than these tabs so i don't know that just made me feel like these tabs are what we're going to use to put our barn together and this one's going to be for the lid so i hope that makes sense to you but that's what i did and then i used the little windows um to create two for each side panel I cut one piece for the bottom and layered it. All of these are cut in blue cardstock and then layered with the red. And then I cut two of these, one for the front of the barn, one for the back of the barn. So basically you have these five large pieces that are gonna create your barn. I am using Miss Kate's Stars and Stripes. I think this is the perfect collection for a little barn. Um, I live in Texas and anytime you are driving out in the country, wherever there are barns, um, they usually are the, these colors. Um, sometimes they have like a big American flag um, painted on the side of them and I just love them they're just so this collection was perfect for this die so basically what I'm gonna do is just adhere this so I've got my bottom piece and what I think the best way to tackle this is to put your pieces use this tab and just attach them like this and yeah like that like that and see this piece has that little tab here so we're gonna go here see how these corners meet up with each other right here so that's what makes me think that that's how this is supposed to go and that this like I said this larger rounder piece is the top part if that makes sense because these just kind of fit into each other like that so that's what I'm gonna do really quickly please hold I will be right back <music> pieces together and now I have two pieces that I cut out for my rooftop these have fold lines on them so what I did is I pushed these handles outward then I went in just like that because I figured it was gonna go like this on here um, so yeah just like that I did the same thing with this one right and so what I'm thinking is I'm gonna use the rooftop as a guide as far as where I'm gonna put this so I just got a little clothespin I put the bow on here I actually did a bow on both sides I'm gonna line these up hold them together with this pin look how cute that is aren't they so cute I think they're so cute you guys okay and then I'm gonna take my I didn't add any tape to these two tabs right here because I feel like these are just there for support and we need a way to get into our box so I only added adhesive to the bottom tabs of the barn and the side tab okay so just right here 
and right here. And so what I'm gonna do is pray for the best. No, <laughs> it's so funny how, you know, I've just been, I have not been crafting, so I feel like, I feel it feels so new to me, you guys. Okay, so that's what we have so far. And then I'm gonna take this and line it up right here, just like that, right? I think it's gonna have a little bit of a hangover, right? Kinda, don't wanna. Yeah, so I'm just gonna use my roof, my roof as a guide to adhere this, perfect. Okay. And the good thing about using this double-sided tape is that it's not too sticky, you know? And then we'll take this piece and we'll do the same. Okay, maybe I should have taken off the, no, because then it might have stuck. Okay, so I'm gonna take these off really quickly, as quickly as can be. Okay, and I couldn't find my thicker double-sided tape, so I had to use two thin pieces. But of course, this would be so much easier if it was just one, you know? And I was so happily surprised to see how easy it was to put this together. So in total, you're gonna have five large pieces for the bottom and two pieces for the roof. These two for the roof. Um, and then of course you can layer or not layer, you know, it really is up to you. I've seen um, some Halloween versions. I've seen a lot of just cute country versions. Um, so yeah, I think this is going to be so darling. And we are having a grandchild. We have a little, a little princess coming soon. So, okay, let me see. Let me line this up with this. That's not working. We're gonna line this up right here like that and then we'll add some pressure just like that oh my goodness okay there it goes okay so I got that piece and then I figure I'm gonna line it up right here right oh how cute yes 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 and then we'll just Hold it like that, you guys. This is so cute. Okay, I think this side is a little off. Let me see. Let me fix this side. Just like that. Line it up right there at the crease. And then that's better. Okay. And then we have our bow right here. We'll hold it like that. Oh my garshness, this is just darling. Okay, and then what I did is, oh my gosh, this collection is just so stinking cute. So we're gonna add this bow right here. I wish I had a little glue dot, like a little, a little, what's the word? Sponge, not sponge. Oh my gosh, y'all, I, I already don't know what I'm saying. I wanna make it poofy and stand out, but that's okay. We'll just do it like this just for the sake of this video. And then look, the little heart, the little bows. Aren't those so darling? Okay. We're going to put her right there. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So cute. Okay. And then we have some for the sides. So a little dab of glue. Imagine this at Christmas time, you guys, a little Christmas barn, and you gift some little um, horses or, um, you know, just some little farm animal toys to a cutie patootie. Like, how stinking cute! Girl or boy, I think this is just so darling. Um, and I went with all the bows because of the bows on the paper. So, I've told you guys we have a little, a new puppy, so... He is such a baby. Okay, put that right there. Also, and then we'll put this right here. And I didn't do anything on the back side of this. Like I didn't put anything back here, but I mean, do we need to? 
is the question. Look how cute this is. And it opens up like this, and then you can open these up and fit all your goodies in there. And holy smokes, it is so adorable. Oh my gosh, Erica, this is amazing. Amazing. Look at that cutie patootie. And then I'm just gonna go in and maybe embellish with some pinwheels. I think that would be fun. Some little strawberries, some flowers, but I mean, what more can we do with this? This is adorable, adorable. So I've missed you guys so much. I appreciate all of you that have come in and said hello. Uh, please remember to like and comment on this video. I'm trying to get my algorithm going again. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll make sure to have all the links and my coupon code, Mommy and Me. Um, no, I'm sorry. It's Patty10. Patty10. I've forgotten my code. Patty10, and that'll get you 10% off at checkout. And you guys, I really think this is going to be amazing for any time of the year. Um, it's just so darling. Like, what an amazing gift box to have. Imagine a little haunted house or just little Christmas wreaths. Oh my gosh, all the holidays, all the holidays. Little turkeys for Thanksgiving, stop it right now. Okay, enough jibber jabber. Um, so yeah, this is the 3D Barn gift box. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and leave a comment, please. Um, share if you can to your YouTube, YouTube channel, it will help me so much. Okay, I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.